Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, our company left, my sister. So I got back to it and I sprayed, what was it? Four tanks of 240 with Tricoplur, fairly strong stuff, so I could get these resprouting trees knocked back. I'm going to be planting within days here. <laughs> And I resprayed anything else that uh, came up since last time I sprayed or was not killed. Then I sprayed, oh, I don't know, what was it, four tanks uh, through this lower area right where the big trees are and around the big trees and all the way back to the road back there. Then I didn't want to film that because it's kind of boring, but then I started whacking this uh, bramble patch. I did this last year too, if you uh, if you go back and look at the videos. But this year, it's all, everything's new growth because I whacked all that old cane down and took down a ton of little trees and stuff last year. So it's a little bit easier, but there is uh, trees laying down in the brambles that have re-sprouted. So. A uh, little tough going here and there, but other than that, not too bad. So I ran out of gas and went up and got my gas can and the camera so I can film the rest of it. The trimmer is down where I left off, and the trimmer in my harness. So I get down there, put that back on, and finish the rest of this up. So here's what it looks like down here. I went around the back side of that big log. I did the same thing last year and then came around the front side. A little harder last year. I did a basil bark treatment. I believe I made a video of that this spring. And most of these little pencil trees all through here are all dead. Um, I'm going to leave them standing for now. But they're letting a ton more light into here. So this place will explode with uh, invasive species like this garlic mustard and this, which has gone to seed. So I got to whack this all down. And then my brother-in-law planted some, I forget what it's called. It's like a deer mix because my, I don't, you know, you're not going to be able to see that, but my nephew's camera is on the tree right over there. And he wants to set up in this big tree right here, set up his stand. But I need to whack this whole place down, and then I'm going to toss seed right on top of it. Uh, the stuff I whack down is going to act as mulch. Then, after a couple weeks or so, after the grass has, you know, thoroughly started, I'm going to come in here again because this stuff will have started back up again. Then I'm going to spray a, a 2,4-D mix with grass fertilizer, which will give the grass a big boost and kill back whatever's here. I'll have to come down several times and spray with 2,4-D so that the grass grows and, uh, and all this other garbage dies back. It's going to be really nice down here, really quick though. I think by the end of the year this, this will be a big grassy knoll. So let me get to it. That's gonna about do it. I've already run up up and down this hill I don't I think four times now for this that and the other thing the last one I was out of string but now the trimmer won't start 
I've been messing around with it for maybe 20 minutes and I am out of time. I gotta go set up a campfire for Natalie and her friends. And they're gonna have a bonfire, a big bonfire. It's, I gotta set it up so it'll burn. But they're gonna burn that giant pile on West Pasture there tonight. So I probably have a half hour of work left in here, maybe an hour. I wish to hell I could have got it done, but I, I think I'm going to have to go pull the plug on the trimmer here and clean the plug, and it'll probably start then. I've never had any problems with this, but all of a sudden I was cutting over there and it slowly died, and then uh, got it started and trimmed this, and then it, uh, when the string broke right in here somewhere, the string's probably laying on the ground. Um, it wouldn't start back up again. So I better go do that and get their fire set up and try coming back down here tomorrow and finishing this up. I have seeds ordered for this acre right here. It's up by Bigfoot up there, this patch here, and all through here right behind the house and all the way down to the road back here. So it's a fairly good area. I, I'm guessing an acre. So I got to seed this way north where I got it cleared and along the road up here. Then I should be mostly done uh, for the spring and I can get the addition done on the uh, workshop up there. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. It sounds like I'm farting. It's just a harness here. So that'll wrap it up. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. If you want to see the progress on this, make sure you subscribe and click on updates so you're notified when all them updates happen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.